Welcome to the eighth video in our pre-instructional video series. In this video, we're going to look at the equal sign and the not equal sign. So when we use the equal sign, I'm talking about equations. And those are number sentences that you guys have been using since kindergarten. We're going to look more in depth at the equal sign in third grade and definitely in fourth grade when you go on and on and on and on. Using the equal sign is going to be very important. So I've got this uh, equal arm balance. Uh, to demonstrate how the equal sign can work. So the equal sign is the middle point in your equation. So whatever you have on one side of your equation has to balance with whatever's on the other side of the equation. The second that you change one side of the equation, the equation becomes unbalanced and it's not equal anymore. It becomes not equal or this side would be greater than this side. So we're going to look at making sure that both sides of the equation are equal and how to check that. Okay, so here are the two major symbols that you're going to see. You're going to see the equal sign, and then, of course, you're going to see the not equal sign. It's just an equal sign with a slash through it. There's nothing fancy about it. So what I've done is I've drawn an equal arm balance here, uh, like the one in the previous clip. Whatever's on one side of the equal arm balance has to be equal to the other side of the arm balance. That way that stays balanced. If one side gets too heavy, then it's going to tip and become unequal. The simplest equation that you can show is something like this, 5 equals 5. All right, so this is probably something that you're more used to. Uh, this says 20 plus 9 equals 29. And what we're going to do is we are going to lose our learning target here, decide if both sides of an equation are equal. So how do we do that? Well, we can treat this like the equal arm balance. Whatever's on one side has to be on the other side. We're going to simplify both sides. So this side over here, this is 29. That's simplified as much as it's going to get. This side over here, though, this is 20 plus 9. We can do something with that. We can work with that. We can add 20 and 9. So add 29. You add it up. You get 29. Does that equal 29? Yeah, 29 and 29 are the same number, just like 5 is equal to 5 is the same number. So they are, in fact, equal. OK, so this is something that's a little bit more complex, and that's OK. What we have here is we have an equation, and we have left out the equal sign. We're going to figure out if this is equal, if both sides are equal, or if both sides are unequal or not equal. So how do we do that? Well, just like in the, the previous example where we had 29, excuse me, 20 plus 9 is 29, and we solved that side and worked it out down here. We're going to do that, but to two sides now. So we go 30 plus 12, 30 plus 10 plus 2 is 42. So we'll just write it right underneath, 42, and then we'll carry this little empty circle for our equal or not equal sign. Okay, now we can solve this side as well. We can simplify it. We go 44 minus 2, that is 42. So the appropriate symbol to write in the blank would be the equal sign. Okay, next example. Here we have 32 minus 8 is equal or not equal to, we're not sure yet, 20 plus 18. We want to check that. We want to make sure it does this balance out. So uh, we're going to choose the sides that need to get reduced or simplified. In this case, we can simplify both sides. So uh, let's see here. 32 minus 8, 24. And then over here, we have 20 plus 18. So that's 20 plus 10 plus 8. 20 plus 10 is 30. 30 plus 8 is 38. Okay, so I'm not going to write an equal sign here. I'm going to write not equal. So 24 is not the same as 38, so we write the not equal sign. So here's a different example of what you might be asked to do in terms of balancing an equation. On one side of our equal arm balance, we have a 6, and then over on this side, we have some kind of mystery number. We're not sure what it is, but it's going to be some number minus 3 is 6. So I'm going to show you how to go about solving this type of problem. All right, so in this problem, what we're going to use is we're going to use a fact family. And we're going to do that because it's going to create more problems for us, and we're going to choose the one that's going to be easiest for us to solve. 6 plus 3 equals box, and then we'll switch that around because we can use the commutative property, if you remember from the first video. So 3 plus 6 equals box. Now we've already got box minus 3 equals 6, so we can start with box again. 
and we can get minus 6 equals 3. So that is 1, 2, 3, 4 members of the fact family. We've got two addition problems, and we've got two subtraction problems. So, which one's the easiest to use to solve for box? Well, we kind of wrote it out the first time, didn't we? We could use this one, or we could use this one. But it's really straightforward to see what box is now. We go 6 plus 3 equals 9. So over here we'll go box equals 9. Okay, so here are your exit problems. The first one is an equals or not equals problem. That's this one here. It says 15 is something to 6 plus 3 plus 5. So simplify this side and then tell me is it equal or not equal to 15. The second problem you get to do is you get to solve for box. We have 18 equals 11 plus box. What goes in the box? Box equals what? 